What's up guys and welcome back for another video of Build the Ecto-1. I cannot wait to do this. So we've got Build the Ghostbusters Ecto-1. We have stage 11 now. Uh, what it wants us to do is the engine fan and the cooling pipe. So we're going to be adding those onto that huge engine that we have got. Um, you will have pieces that look like this. So these look pretty fiddly. So you're possibly going to go have to go grab your tweezers to do these. Um, they're not too bad to put on. Um, but I think that these pieces are going to be quite easy to do. But the rest of it, I think it's going to be uh, slightly fiddly to get all these pipes going where we want them to. So what we're going to do now is we will just grab all these out of the packaging. And then we will come back in a moment. So see you in a sec. What I think we'll do for this issue guys is leave these in the packaging so we can sort of just take them out as we need them. We will need to go back. So if you have the book, you will have to go back to the start to just do your parts check off. Um, 12A uh, is going to be the fan pulley rear, so it's just here. Um, the fan pulley center, which is 12B, is going to be the other circular piece here. Um, and then 12C is the fan pulley front, which is going to be the round piece here with the uh, little bit that's sticking out the bottom. Uh, then the engine fan itself, which cannot be missed because it's huge. It's this one here, this nice big one uh, there. Uh, and then the cooling pipe 1 and cooling pipe 2 which is 12e and 12f which are just here and here uh, and then the belt itself uh, the belt is saying is 12g which are these black belts there um, and then 70 millimeter cable 90 millimeter cable and then 80 millimeter cable 100 millimeter cable air filter control pipe um, which is going to be uh, 12l which is going to be the, these longer ones so we're going to leave them in there so we know that um, the smaller ones are obviously going to be the 70s to 90s to 80s the 100s uh, the 70 millimeter is going to be this black one here and then the 1.7 times 4 millimeter is the, is the ep screws um, which is just two of those in there so there you have it so what we're going to do now we have to flip back to the front of the book um, to uh, do stage 12 the first thing it's saying for us to do is to get out these nice little pieces here. We did sort of mess up on these on the last issue, but we got there in the end. So you want to have these three pieces there, and you will need to have an EP screw. So this is possibly going to be the only screw that we need. So there's an EP screw there. I'm waiting for my screwdriver to come. Uh, when we get that, then we will be able to um, have something better to work with because I don't know why I've waited so long to get a screwdriver. Right, so you want to take 12C, which is this piece with the smaller section there, 12B, which is this one with the cutout circular section in the middle that just goes over the top there, and then 12A, which is this one, which just goes over the top there as well. And then you need to get the EP screw, and then that just goes through the center I'm hoping that's not going to fall through, which it does. Okay, 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 it's fine. Don't need to worry about that because you need the fan. So uh, I don't, it's saying to put this on first, um, which we can do, we can do that, it's fine. But, and then it's saying to get the fan. So you've got the fan now, which is 12D, which is what's going to hold it all in together. Put the screw in the middle there. Um, probably maybe put the fan on first. Let's try that. So you can piece the fan in there. I don't know if it's going to stay. It's not. It's going to be one of those fiddly ones again. So I'm going to try and hold that while I pop the screw in. You're going to watch me juggle here, guys. You're going to watch me juggle here. So let's get this screw on the end there. We've got to start torture. Piece the screw in the center there. Oh, no. This is why I need a decent screwdriver. Right, come on, you can do this down. Yes, right, so then that just goes into there. Let's screw that up to hold all that into place. This fan is so big. You would not want to work on this fan while that is spinning, I'm telling you right now. So um, I've done that quite tight, but you can probably loosen it if you want to, but I don't. the fan doesn't work, so it doesn't really matter. It's just for show purposes. So there is that massive fan. So as you saw, we pieced all that together um, with the, um, the pulley on the back and then the fan just there. So that's really cool. The next thing it's asking us to do is to attach the belts. It's saying to do it like figure A. So we're going to try and do this. It's saying put 12, it's saying to attach these two black um, fans here. Oh, let's just use the tweezers, it'll be easier. 
There you go. So it's saying to put on the back one first. So the back one goes around the top of the back and the bottom. So just put it over the fan at the back there and then you want to get it in line with the back section of the fans, fan pulleys, should I say. Um, make sure it goes in the gaps. And then you're gonna to have to stretch it over and then put it on top of there, which is on to the star motor. And then we need to take it round here again and then put it through the pulleys on the back. I will try and show you a detailed look at this, guys. And then we're gonna to have to pull that all the way over and stretch that onto the power steering pump, which will be like that. So then you should have something that looks like this with the two belts either side, which is really good. And again, that just helps so much on the structure of holding this all together. And I do love how the adjustments are there and everything like that. This this engine is so detailed, it's just such a shame it's gonna be hidden under the hood um, or the bonnet, as we say in the UK. Um, but yeah, I'm really liking how that's coming along. Here we go, guys. This is gonna be the fiddly bit. This is gonna be the pipe section that we're gonna to have to do. I'm really not looking forward to this um, because my fingers are so worn out from doing the garden um, and they're so dry and cut up from the dog attacking me. Um, you know, I just, we're gonna to have to get through this. So figure A wants us to do 12 I it says so 12 I you might have to keep flicking back and forward to so 12 I is where they have two of them so I'm just going to double check on there so there's two of these so that's 12 I there so they are the blue ones that look like that um, it's going to ask I can't really kind of see where it's saying to put it so I'm going to have to just have a look myself and then show you afterwards so it's asking us to put it under underneath this section. So what we want to do is kind of get it under there and it goes underneath that um, bar. So I'm just going to push it on the end of there first. So I guess it's it's going into the spark plug. Yeah, so it's going into the furthest away spark plug closer to the power steering pump. Um, I'm going to start to push it over. I'm going to have to use tweezers to do this. I cannot do this with my fat hand. Um, so I'm going to have to just use tweezers to help narrow it onto the end of there. Okay. So it wants you to put it on that spark plug there. I don't know if you can see it just there. So it's just on the end of that spark plug there. It wants it to be underneath the bar, which is what it's telling us to have it to do. Be underneath the bar. Saying in figure B that it wants us to have it coming up. Um, it's saying to have kind of a bend in it and for it to go through the first hole, which we can do, it's fine. And then now, another fiddly section, is it has to go on to that furthest away pipe. So good luck on that one again. Concentration face on it is now in place. So there you go. So that's the first one. So that is the first spark plug lead just there so that goes all the way from the distributor cap through that first hole all the way down and then onto that first spark plug um and yeah it's on there it's on there really well so i'm happy with that right so then it's just saying do 12j 12h and 12h again um in the sequence of how it's showing on the picture so um it's showing us this on the picture here so as you can see there it wants us to do it that way so what we'll do is we'll go and install these pipes real quick um, and then we'll come back and show you what they look like when they're done Okay guys, that was fiddly as hell, but there we go. We have got there in the end. So I don't know if you can see um, how these pipes are going in or where they're going, but um, so they come from the sequence of each individual plug there and then they go on to the distributor cap just at the top there, as you can see. Um, and then what we're gonna have to do is pop probably just go the other side and do the same again. So uh, I'm just gonna flip this over and have a quick look. So figure A, figure B, 
So again, it's asking us to do that. So we need to flip it around this side and then we need to go and do this side as well. So we're just gonna go pop those in. I'm just gonna go do those and then show you what that looks like once that is done. Okay guys, that was quite painful to do, but we eventually got there. So let's just quickly talk about what we had to do here. So 12J was this um, this side pipe here. Um, then you had another 12J, um, which was the one that was in there. Um, 12I, which was just this one. And then there was 12K, which was that one there as well. So they all went from the spark plugs all the way around through this little holder and into the distributor cap, as you can see there. Um, and then also they wanted us to put this black uh, section on here. Um, this was on the next page. So this is in steps, well, 06, so on, on the steps there. Um, that's 12L, that big black cable there, which goes just off the top there, all the way around. Doesn't go anywhere yet, so I've just tucked it inside there out of the way. Um, and then 12H, two times um, blue pipes, just from the top of there, um, the top of that, um, the back of there. Um, so this is the starter motor, back on the back of the starter motor, all the way down um, onto that one there. So they're the two there. So that's 12H. Um, we do need to put 12E and 12F, which are the last two pieces to do. So 12E, I think they are labeled up, or we'll just double check. We should be able to see quite easily the difference uh, between the two. Um, they want us to push this one at the end here. So um, oh, there is also this cable here, sorry, I almost forgot to mention, which is 12M. That's that black one there. That goes all the way inside there, and it just wants you to just have it hanging out for the moment. I guess it's probably because we haven't got anywhere for that to go at the moment. Um, so this one is saying that they want us to push it on to this bottom section here. They're saying it should just be a push fit. Um, it does feel like a rubber hose, to be fair. It doesn't, it, it feels quite spongy. Uh, that just goes on there like that, as you just saw. Um, and then it's asking us to put this one at the top here. Um, it's asking us to push that one down in there. So that goes there. It's not saying to glue it in. It's just saying to push it in. Um, but that's that. So that's 12E and 12F. And then you should have something at the end looking like this. So this engine is so detailed. So much detail has gone into this. I'm telling you, it's just absolutely amazing. I'm getting confused with the starter motor. Um, I think the starter motor goes down there, and I think that is maybe the alternator. Um, I'm not too sure, because the alternator obviously spins around uh, as that goes. Um, yeah, so that's probably the alternator, and this is probably the starter motor, because the starter motor generally goes in with the um, gearbox. So there you have it. So this is the engine so far. It's absolutely fantastic, and it's huge. <laughs> it's so much detail uh, has gone into this engine. It is unbelievable. But that's how that's meant to look at the end of this um, stage. So there you go, so that is that. So let me just try and put this down um, as it's getting quite heavy now and then have a look what it wants to do in the next issue. So stage 12 is this, stage 13 is gonna be the chassis frame and distributor. So I can't wait to do that with you guys. Um, if you wanna see uh, more of this, then please remember to subscribe just by clicking the button just down there. And then we will see you again to do the chassis frame and distributor. And uh, please remember to subscribe. See you again real soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.